you might have heard the term LIBOR when people are quoting interest rates or they're saying, hey, I'm going to lend you money a few percentage points above LIBOR. You'll hear LIBOR quoted on, on some of the financial news channels. And what it is is just an average of the interest rates that banks are lending to each other. And it's calculated by uh, the British Bankers Association. It's actually calculated by Thomson Reuters for the British Bankers Association. But it's there to kind of provide a benchmark for other types of securities and financial transactions. And it literally stands for the London Interbank Offer Rate. So it's the in London. It's the it's the rate the offer rate between banks. It's the London interbank offer rate. And to understand that a little bit better, we I've set up two banks over here. I have Bank A and Bank B. And you might already know that when you go and deposit your money in banks, the bank won't leave all of that money around. The way it makes money is it lends a good bit of that money to uh, to other people as as loans. And it'll keep just enough cash on hand that it thinks, well, you know, if people actually were to come and ask for their money from their checking account, we have enough on hand. But you could imagine every now and then a bank might get low on cash, or it might get close to kind of the reserve requirements that the the central bank in that country requires a bank to have on hand. So in that those situations, say Bank A is getting to that uh, that situation, it says, let me go borrow some money. Let me go borrow money from an int from another bank. So this is interbank borrowing. Bank B over here, they're flush with cash, and they say, well, we don't like to keep so much cash around. We want to lend it so we can actually get interest. We get no interest on cash. So maybe Bank B lends money to Bank A. So maybe they lend this much cash. So that's the new cash that Bank A got. Right over there, the new cash. And of course, it is a loan. So this is a new loan to offset it. Remember, assets are equal to liabilities plus equity. So now the liabilities is this whole thing over here. So this is loan from from B for this cash, so that they have a little bit better of a cushion. And now B, their loans have increased and their cash has decreased. So this is a loan loan to A right now. They took this cash and they gave it to Bank A, and that rate that they lent it at. Maybe it was at 1%. Maybe it's a 1% annual rate. And of course, this will be renewed every day, so it's an overnight rate. This rate is an interbank rate. So what they do in, or it's, it's on behalf of the British Bankers Association, is they go survey a bunch of banks in London, 8, 12, 16 banks in London, and say, hey, what was the rate at which y'all transacted? And then they will quote that. And they'll co quote that as the overnight LIBOR. So they'll quote it at, say, hey, maybe it was 1.2% across all of the banks that we surveyed. And what's interesting about the LIBOR is it's done in 10 currencies. It's not just in, in the sterling or the dollar or the yen. It's in 10 currencies. And that's what really differentiates it, well, amongst other things, but what really differentiates it from the, uh, from the effective federal funds rate, which is another interbank borrowing rate, but that's in the United States. And that's more revolving around policy concerns because the federal, the federal bank actually tries to change it.